Hello, it has been a minute since my last studio vlog. I really haven't been putting a whole lot of effort or time and energy into studio vlog material, I guess. My shop, I haven't really done a huge like new product update in a very long time. My most recent shop update was just originals that I was listing to sell. But as I get closer to reopening my store, because it has been closed for the entire month of December, I'm working towards like new products, redoing my shop just a little bit, all kinds of little behind the scenes things. So I'll definitely have a lot more content in terms of studio vlogs coming up here because while I'm not doing anything like super, super, super huge for my shop, I am making new products and I have to make some prints, stickers, stuff like that, restock a bunch of things. I know when I reopen my shop sometime probably mid-January, I definitely don't have a date yet, but sometime mid-January is when I'm going to reopen. Um, I'll have like clearance products just so I can get rid of some older artwork that either doesn't really sell well or it's just stuff that I don't want to have in my shop anymore. And then all the new products I'll be listing on there. Just a lot of behind the scenes stuff that we'll be working on. The clips you're watching right now are a little bit on the older side. These are from when I did my end of the year sale for my shop. I put everything 25% off just to get rid of some stock and make some extra money before my shop actually closed for the whole month of December. So I was packing the very last orders from that sale to ship those out because I know a lot of people like watching packing footage. I enjoy watching packing footage for the sense of like, especially having my own little business myself. I think it's really interesting to see how people pack things and their process and like how they wrap their products, all that kind of stuff. So there is that for you. I am pretty grateful that I decided to close my shop for the month of December because by no means am I super overwhelmed or like really in need of a break with my shop. I don't get like surges of sales any other time aside from when I actually do a shop update outside of that week or so when I first launch a shop update, the orders just kind of like casually trickle in where I might get like one to three a week. It's a very casual pace, but it has been nice just to like step back and not focus on that for a little bit. Like I said, by no means was it necessary. And my main reason actually for closing my shop for the month of December was not to take a break. It was the intention of, I really don't want to deal with sending out packages during the holiday rush of sending packages because I didn't want to deal with like a bunch of stuff getting lost, going missing, taking forever to show up because USPS is of course overwhelmed during the holidays. That was my main intention, but it was nice to take a little break from it and especially having it closed for such a long period of time. I have so much time to work on just like redesigning my website if I want to, adding new graphics, all that kind of stuff without worrying about things going wrong and not necessarily having like time to fix it or like having people visit my site when things look janky. So that has been super, super nice. I kind of recently ran out of the freebie prints I would give away in my shop orders, so probably the last like 20 orders or so didn't end up getting those freebie prints. And I kind of went back and forth between doing a freebie print or a freebie sticker with my orders. So I went ahead and asked my patrons and it was almost a unanimous vote for stickers. So I decided to put together some little cute designs for stickers that I could give away as freebies and orders. I especially wanted to do multiple designs because I kind of feel bad when I get customers who order things multiple times and I'm giving them the same thank you card every time, I'm giving them the same freebie print every time, so I wanted somewhat like a little rotating stock when it came to the freebie stickers that I gave away, so I decided to do four designs just because I felt like that was a safe amount. I'm not really going to pay attention to like who I give which stickers to, I'm going to try to randomly grab from it. That way, in theory, there's only like a 25% chance you'd be getting a repeat sticker if you placed a second order. So we'll see how that goes. Plus, it was nice to just design a couple of things. I went back and forth for a while if I wanted to do like fan art or original art for the freebie stickers because if you get a freebie sticker that's fan art and you're not interested in that show or whatever it is, you might not be super interested in it. So I went with kind of like a middle idea and I designed three designs that are like fan art little 
bakery pastry themed items and I really like how they turned out. I think they turned out super super cute. The fourth freebie sticker is just a straight up fruits basket design because it was something I had drawn on my iPad just casually and I really liked how it looked so I decided to make that the fourth sticker because I did some sketches for other like fan art pastry designs and I wasn't too fond of them so for the sake of saving myself time because making these stickers was a super super last minute decision. I'm actually collaborating with Vogue Race again, so they sent me another coupon to take off on my order I placed with them, and I decided to add stickers on there last minute. I do print all of the stickers that are available in my shop from home, I cut them with my Cricut from home, but the stickers from Vogue Race specifically are very inexpensive, so I figured for freebie stickers at the very least I'd get through them. I think eventually if my shop gets on a much like higher scale of orders, I'll start outsourcing my stickers, probably through Vogue Race because they are very very inexpensive, they have really good prices on their stickers, but for the small scale that my shop is right now, I am very comfortable making those stickers at home. I just knew I wanted to get like a huge surplus of freebie stickers. That way I didn't have to worry about it for a while in terms of like making more, making more designs, whatever it may be. So I just figured I would make some freebie stickers very last minute in placing my Vogue Grace order, but it works. When I first opened my shop, I wasn't super keen on getting business cards, just because personally, when I get business cards, unless there's like a piece of artwork on one side of it or something like that, like I don't really keep business cards. So for me, I wasn't super interested in getting them, so instead I opted to get my thank you cards that I include with my orders, which is basically a print, and then on the back side it has all my information, so like my shop URL, my social medias are on there and everything. But recently, especially like, when I get to in-person scenarios, when I tell people I have an online shop and they want my information, I was like, it would be so nice if I had a business card that I could just give them because that way I don't have to like spell everything out and like all that jazz. So I decided to finally order business cards. <laughs> I got them through Vistaprint and I waited until they did their Black Friday sale, which makes them 50% off. So they were way cheaper than like getting them full price. Highly, highly recommend it. If you want to order anything on Vistaprint, just to wait until there's a coupon or some kind of offer on there because there almost always is. If you just wait a couple weeks, there'll be a good deal on there. So I ordered business cards through them. I got really nice business cards. I decided to spend the extra for the soft touch finish and the rounded corners just because I was like, if I'm gonna spend money on business cards, I guess let's have them be super nice. And I am so happy with how these business cards turned out. I've ordered other stuff from Vistaprint in the past. They're where I got my thank you cards my self-inking stamps, and my sticky notes that I sell in my shop. So I've had really good experiences with Vistaprint. I'm so happy with how this design turned out and like how the business cards look and how they feel. They're amazing. I'm a huge clown though, and I made Aslan on the business card be orange when he's a yellow cat. And it's very upsetting to me, actually. I was like, oh, heck, do I contact them? But like, it was my fault. So I'm not going to be like, hey, I'm a dummy and I colored this wrong. Can you redo it for me? So we're living with our sins, boys. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I guess I've just been doing a lot of fruits basket art recently. So when I was coloring him, I was like, it's Kyo. But yeah, so he's orange on there. It's not the end of the world. I've accepted it. <laughs> They're still really cute. So it's not the end of the world. The package I have been the most looking forward to recently though is this lovely package from Vogue Race. Like I mentioned earlier, they wanted to collaborate again and sent me another coupon to take off of my order that I placed with them. I went well beyond that coupon because I know I wanted to order stuff just so I could list in my shop so I would have larger quantities of stuff. And I got a very big assortment of different items compared to last time, so I was so excited to see how everything turned out in this package. With the last order I placed through Vogue Grace, one of the things that I actually initially really wanted to get was washi tape to be made, and that's something I didn't place with my original order. I couldn't come up with like a solid design at the time, so I ended up skipping out on washi tape last time, but that was something that I really, really wanted to do this time around, and then I also got a couple of other new products, so I was super, super excited to get this package. Vogue Race also now offers compostable packaging as an option for their orders. It looks like they're going to switch to this permanently as something to wrap their individual products in, which is so, so nice because that's something I really wasn't a huge fan of when it came to my last Vogue Race order. 
I know products like this generally come individually wrapped like this so they don't get scratches and just wear and tear when it comes through shipping. Um, but I really am trying to use as little plastic as possible when it comes to my online store. With everything that I have on my store right now, I haven't been using any plastic at all. My mailers, like the things I wrap my products in, I have avoided plastic at all costs. So it's very nice that this is an option. I got a pretty good variety of items from Vogue Grace this time, one of those being acrylic charms again. I went ahead and ordered a larger quantity of them, that way I'd have them available for when I do launch my store, so I have more than like three of each design to list. I only ended up getting the Perfetti designs and I got 10 of each. I don't know how well they're going to do in my shop, so I just stuck with a pretty low quantity since they're a little bit expensive to order. But this way I can just gauge interest to see how well they'll sell and then hopefully in the future order more designs in a larger quantity. One of the things I was most excited about was absolutely the washi tape. I made this really cute fruits basket design and I was very excited to see how it turned out. It did end up turning out a lot darker than I intended because I am a clown and I submitted it as an RGB format instead of CMYK. I'm still getting used to formatting things for print and making sure they'll turn out good because I'm really new to the whole outsourcing concept of things. So in the future, I'll definitely correct the file and get it how I want because right now they are desaturated and a lot darker than I intended, but it's my bad. I will have these in my shop update. I'll just list them at a discounted price and then in the future, I'll reorder them and hopefully the colors will be how I envisioned. After finding out that they existed, I also really wanted to try out sticker sheets through Vogue Race. Sticker sheets are something I've wanted to do, but using a Cricut, they are such a pain in the butt to do sticker sheets where they're kiss cut stickers instead of die cut. Which, if you don't know the difference, die cut stickers are ones that are completely cut all the way through, through the backing of the actual sticker paper, everything, versus kiss cuts are ones that are cut through just the actual sticker paper and not the backing paper. So. In doing kiss cut stickers on my Cricut, I would essentially have to do like one round of it being a kiss cut and then a die cut for the outside of the sticker paper. And like, I really just don't want to play with that. Like, I really don't want to be wasting a ton of vinyl sticker paper because it's kind of expensive. So I was really excited when I saw this as an option through Vogue Race and I very quickly put together this really cute sheet with a bunch of like little bakery cafe items. And I'm so happy with how these turned out because like I said, I'm a fool and I submitted these in RGB format. They're still a little bit darker, just like the washi tapes are, but I'm okay with how dark these ones look. I'm so happy with how these sticker sheets turned out. The stickers I ordered to be freebie stickers in my shop also turned out fantastic. They're so pretty and I really like the size that they are. I ordered 50 of each design, which means I have 200 of these freebie stickers in total. So I'm sure they're going to last me a long time. I'll probably give out like one to two stickers per order, depending on how much people actually purchase from my shop at one period of time. So I'm very excited to have little freebie stickers to hand out to you guys. What is, without a doubt though, my favorite thing that I placed in this order, which I didn't expect it to be my favorite thing, but as soon as I was unwrapping them, I was just like, ah, these are beautiful, are these wood charms I ordered. All of the wood products that Vogue Grace offers are actually pretty new for them. They only recently started doing them and they have pins, charms, and wood standees. I believe those are the wood options, but I was really excited when they started offering these because wood charms as a whole are a lot cheaper to manufacture than acrylic charms, just like anywhere you go. And I've been interested in doing wood charms for the longest time. So I was so excited to see that they offered these and I was very excited to see how they would turn out. And they blew my mind. Like, I'm so happy with these. The only problem I have is that when you do darker colors on the wood charms, they have a lot of a harder time of being like an opaque, good looking color. On the Rin and Hatsuhara charms I ordered, which is the cow and the horse, there's like white speckles. I think it's just places where the ink was not able to get into the crevices of the grain of the wood as well. So it doesn't look that good for the darker colors. I only ended up ordering five of each design, so in the future when I do reorder these because I really want to have a larger quantity to list on my shop, I'm going to modify that design just so the colors aren't as dark, so hopefully when they're reprinted they don't turn out like looking the way they did this time around. 
Some of them definitely turned out better than the others, but as a whole, the dark colors just really didn't do it for the wood charms. All of the other ones were totally fine though. They printed like so bright and so saturated. They look really pretty. So I'm very, very excited to order more of these in the future. I don't think I'll list them on my online store when I do my next update, just because I only have five of each design and I really don't want to have to list like only three of each design. So it'll definitely be a future thing that I do. But so far, what it's looking like for me for my next shop update, which like I said, will probably be mid-January-ish. The products that I've gotten outsourced that I'm going to be listing are from my last video, the lanyards and the button pins. And then from this video, I will have the wood charms, the sticker sheets, the discounted washi tapes, and then the acrylic charms that I ordered. So I'm very excited to have all that kind of stuff in my shop just because like, I haven't really done a whole lot of like cool different products in the past. Probably the coolest thing I've done is the sticky notes I got through Vistaprint, which sold really well and I'm very excited to do more sticky notes in the future. But it's just really cool to expand the things I'm making into more than just prints and stickers and stuff I make from home. So thank you guys for supporting my shop and actually getting me to this point because otherwise like I would not be able to fund these things. Even though Vogue Race gave me a coupon, I ended up spending like over $100 of my own money on top of that just because I wanted to try a bunch of stuff and I wanted to get washi tapes that I could list in my store and acrylic charms that I could list in my store and all kind of goodies. So I really appreciate all of the support you guys have given me because without it, I would not be anywhere near where I am right now. I'll also have a good handful of new print designs for when I open my shop. I've done a lot of like Genshin Impact art specifically lately that I've been itching to turn into prints. I'm not sure if I'll have any like new sticker designs available on my shop because I haven't done a ton of individual artworks for digital art to make into stickers. For the shop update I had, not my most recent one, but the one before that, I made so many new sticker designs. I think I had around like 20 or so brand new sticker designs. So still like, not super in the mood to just make a bunch of sticker designs for the sake of making stickers and putting them in my shop. I just kind of want to do it casually where if I want to draw something and I like it, I can turn it into a sticker, which is pretty much what I've been doing for prints. I've just been making a lot of art for fun and I've been really happy with a lot of the art I've been putting out, so it'll turn into prints eventually. And I'll definitely keep you guys updated as far as the shop update goes in terms of when I'm actually going to launch my shop update, all that kind of stuff. I'll probably make a community post and maybe I'll mention it in a video, but I feel like Instagram is a better place to get that information because I don't even know like what percentage of my audience ends up seeing my community posts here on YouTube. I really don't know the analytics of it. If YouTube tells me, I sure have never looked at the analytics for community posts. But if you want, you can check out my Instagram because especially when it comes time to do stuff like shop updates, I'm a lot more vocal on it on that platform than I am on YouTube just because I don't necessarily put out videos on a super, super regular basis. So sometimes I don't even have the time to say, hey, I have a shop update. And feel free to enjoy the next minute or so of me going through and grading all of these products. I normally don't have silence going on when I'm actually working on stuff. So I'm never able to use the original audio from when I'm like packaging orders and stuff like that. But in this instance specifically, I didn't have a show going on in the background. I wasn't listening to music or anything like that. The only background noise is Steven playing Terraria in the background in this video. So you might hear his keyboard every now and then, but it was just a very casual little sit down and lots of nice little packaging noises. So with that, I'm gonna cut my voiceover a little bit short on this video. So thank you guys as always so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.